Welcome to another tutorial where we want to learn a new application which can allow us to be able to create SCOM content for our courses. Now, Open Learn is a open source application or open learning is an open source application which you can actually download and install on your uh, computer and begin to use it. So to access and download it from their website, go to www.openlearning.org. Download it, install it, and launch it. Once you have launched the OpenLearn application, you can now begin to build your content. I'll take us through the steps of developing a simple SCOM content and uploading it. So uh, this is my first slide. If you need to add more slides, you simply click this green button here and you will be able to add more slides. Let's start with my first slide. I may want to edit the title section of the slide so that it reads the content of the current uh, content that will be displayed in that slide. So I click this icon and I can put in my title. So my title is uh, the introduction. You can add a logo. If you do have a logo, you can actually be able to upload the logo if you do have a logo. Once you have uh, put in your 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 title and uh, if you have added a logo in my case i don't need can even change the the color of the title bar let me change it to maroon so note that it has changed so you can even customize the slide to in your institutional uh liking or institutional branding so let's start by uh, removing this i can remove this component so that i have a clean slide I'll start by adding text. So I want to create a slide where I have text. So this is my introduction. Then I can put in my text here. You can even format your, your title. I'll make it a heading. And you can type your text content here. Then click Save. I also want to put an, an image here so you can actually be able to add an image. Sorry, you can actually be able to add an image using this option. You can use the images that are available or you can upload an image from your computer. Okay, so there is my image. You can resize it to fit the space or you can even reorganize the page so that you have the text up there and the image down here so you can simply reorganize the text on your slide by dragging and dropping elements around if you need to delete an element click on it and click this delete option now to be able to navigate from one slide to another i may need to add a, a next button so you already have a placeholder where you can add the next button if you need to uh, add another button you can do that by clicking this one so the the add button option is here so i don't need this because this is the first slide let's move to the second slide i can edit the title here and i can say about so this is about scom Okay, so this particular slide, I'm going to talk about SCOM. Uh, I can delete this element. I don't need it. So here I want to add a video and uh, talking about SCOM. So I can either put video URLs and click this and put the URL to the video if the video is on YouTube. Okay, uh, I can upload a video. Using the second option allows me to actually upload a video. Sorry. This option allows me to upload a video from my computer. You can either have it play full screen and autoplay. Okay, so you choose the option that you want. You can either attach a video or put, you can also attach an audio file. So you see, it gives you the flexibility. Okay, I can put my video here and put some text here. And uh, in my text is uh, defining. Scom. So I want to put some text here uh, defining SCOM. Make it a heading. Then I can put my type the text here for my presentation. Uh, 
then save. Don't forget to put the button for going to the next slide. You can edit to just make sure that it goes to the next slide. The action is going to the next slide. I can add another button and the action should be to go to the previous page. Do this and add as many buttons, as many uh, uh, slides as you need for your SCORM package. For this one, I'm going to add questions and I'm going to put a multiple choice question. So the title of my would be quiz question. The title of my slide is quiz question, which will reflect shortly. Then I put, in this case, it's a multiple choice and you can even put a quiz question with an image. So there could be an image so you can even add images to your questions so that they look interesting. So my question would be which of the following is true about SCOM? See, so the first choice would be it's platform independent. independent and then it cannot contain quiz questions it's rigid so which of the following is true about scum so my choices are there i just click to reveal my choices you can put a remark if somebody is wrong uh, you can give a, a, a prompt that will be given so review the reading on SCORM capabilities. And then they'll be awarded two marks for this. Then I put my next button and I put my previous button. So I can just confirm this one returns to the previous page and this one moves to the next page. So I have put in a question. I can add another slide where I want to add another question. Um, so in the questions menu, you have different question types. You have this question where you can link. So matching question. So here I want to match countries to capital cities. So I can actually uh, do that. So it's very simple uh, to edit. So Tanzania is, oh, let's say Nigeria. Then I can, uh, Nigeria should be uh, forgotten. So let's just leave it as it is that way. And you can put in a remark and even you can, you can customize the points. So this is 3.5 points. And you, so if someone gets it wrong, say notes on countries in Africa. So you realize you can add questions and there are different types of questions which you can practice. You can add text, you can add an image, you can add media, and you can add navigation buttons. So don't always forget to put your navigation buttons. So once you're done and you're satisfied with your SCOM package, you can now save it as a SCOM and upload it on the LMS. So to save it as a SCOM, simply come to File, Export, and select Export to SCOM. Okay, the type of content, I'll be using it for Moodle. Then I can put the title, so it's samples com. For someone to finish this com, uh, you can, uh, you need to attain at least 60%. Uh, and then send the status completed to the grade book. So it will send the grade book, uh, the results of the student as soon as they attempt the SCOM and finish all the assessment in the SCOM will be sent to the grade book. Then click execute. So it's going to ask where to save. So I'll save it in the in the download section. So it's the sample SCOM. So I'll call it sample SCOM and save it in download. So there. Okay, there. So it's just giving me the tips on how to upload my SCOM in Moodle. So that is how you create a SCOM content. Um, so let's move into the LMS and uh, proceed to upload our SCOM. So now we are on the LMS and we want to upload our SCOM. So the first thing you need to do is you need to turn editing on, make sure that you're in editing mode. Uh, move to the topic that you want to add the SCOM component 
and then click add an activity or resource. Select the SCOM package option, click add. My SCOM is a sample SCOM. Then attach the SCOM package from which we packaged. So it was under download. And uh, this is it because it comes as a zipped folder. Upload the file. Make sure that you put in grade. The highest grade is 100. Make sure that it sends to the gradebook. Then let's click save and display. We can now view our SCOM. So this is our SCOM. Because we are created it with Open Learner, it usually has that. But you see, we have our SCOM content. Uh, we have our video. We have our we have our quiz. We have our matching question. There. So that is our SCOM content. So try it out on your end. Create a SCOM content using OpenLearn, then proceed to upload it on the learning management system.